Hear what Lindsey Graham said about some GOP blaming Trump for party losses. In the wake of the loss of former President Donald Trump's hand-picked challenger Herschel Walker to Senator Raphael Warnock in the Georgia Senate race, the Republican blame game has begun. Donald Trump is facing a flurry of criticism on Capitol Hill, with Republican fury growing over their failure to take back the Senate and GOP leaders at odds over their strategy with the former president still maintaining a dominant hold on the party. The GOP reckoning comes in the wake of the party leaving another critical Senate seat on the table Georgia, and seeing Democrats expand their majority to 51 to 49. Hours after Trump's hand-picked candidate, Herschel Walker, failed to pick up a Democratic seat, the blame game began in earnest in large part directed at the former president. Many argued that the party establishment must take a heavier hand in the 2024 election cycle and root out unelectable Republicans even if they're backed by Trump. Others said the GOP needs to embrace early voting and wholly reject Trump's demagoguery of mail-in voting, something that helped power Democratic victories. And some top Republicans said the party's refusal to reject Trump as their standard bearer combined with the 2020 election denialism that is central to his platform ultimately did them in, and will cost them again in future cycles. It's just one more data point in an overwhelming body of data that the Trump obsession is very bad for Republicans, 